Two crazy stories in the paper yesterday. I didn't really see anybody relate them, but they're the same story. There's the story of the world's most famous, most accomplished genetic biologist, uh, Watson. He was, uh, he was kind of like removed from the public square when he reiterated all your comments about, his, about the relationship between IQ and race, genetics, it's DNA. And then there was a story about Steve King. He was removed from the public square for making racist comments. I think he used the word white supremacy in a question. And the New York Times took that as proof positive that they had caught Mr. Congressman Stephen King wearing a hood on Capitol Hill. So uh, the Republicans went along with it and spanked him for that. You know, wouldn't it be a lot easier, instead of doing the outrage thing, wouldn't it be a lot easier just to shut these people down by showing that they are wrong? Showing this geneticist he's wrong. Showing Stephen King he's wrong. Well, because they don't, we have to we have to look at it and say, well, they can't because they would have shut him down with facts and information if they could have. But all we have is people standing in the public square, pulling out their hair, screaming about how somebody's a bad person without really taking just a minute to tell us why. I mean, the same thing happens around here, right? You're looking now at a video of some fellas doing a drive-by in Philadelphia. While they do the drive-by, we'll talk over it. I mean, when we look at these things like these drive-by, and I say, well, that's a a black thing, drive-bys. Isn't that worth knowing? Other people will say, Colin, that's not happening. Black people don't do drive-by shootings in Philadelphia. Well, they can't say that anymore for the last 10 years because we've got too much video. Then they immediately morph into, well, Colin, white people do that too. Then when you go, well, when you state the transparently obvious reply, which apparently they haven't taken a minute to figure out, when you state that, which is, well, can you show me some videotapes of white people doing a drive-by like that? They don't even listen to that question. They just immediately segue into, well, white people deserve it, or you know, the people that are victims of this crime deserve it. Please, sir, I want some more. So if people wanted to shut us down, they could in a minute. Not by not by squealing to us on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube like a bunch of little girls. They could do it by just showing we are wrong. Show us. Show me the videos of white guys driving around in cars, pop you know, popping a cap in somebody, and bragging about it on music videos. Yeah, this should be the easiest thing in the world. So many white people running around out there. There's five times more white people in this country than black people. There should be five times more of this stuff going on. Where is it? got to have a better reason than not showing it to us other than it will make the black kids angry.